Hi, welcome back. In this video lecture, I will discuss with you the syntax used in this parallel processing technique and some commonly used function modules. SPBT underscore initialize. This function module is used to determine the availability of resources for parallel processing. Input to this function module is the parallel processing group name. You can use this function module to check whether your given parallel processing group name is correct or not. The output of this function module is total number of dialog word processes available for parallel processing. You can use this function module to check how many word processes are available so that you can more efficiently size the packet of data that are to be processed. SPBT underscore get underscore PP underscore destination. This function module is used to get name of server for which the parallel processing task will run. SPBT underscore do underscore not underscore use underscore server. This function module is used to exclude a particular server from further use for processing parallel processing task. In most of these scenarios, we don't need to use these two function modules. Now let's check the syntaxes used in this parallel processing technique. Here you can see the syntax used for parallel processing. Keyword call function, then you have to specify your own IRFC function module that you want to execute in parallel. Keyword starting new task. Then you have to specify task ID, keyword destination in group, then the group name. Here you have to specify parallel processing group name. Then keyword calling or performing. Then you have to specify either a method name or a subroutine name. And then keyword on end of task. So this is the syntax that we use to execute a function module in parallel. Now let's discuss in detail. As we have already discussed, the function module used for parallelization should be RFC enabled. This function module should execute logically independent unit of work. And there is no guarantee that data will be processed in a particular order. Task ID. Calls using starting new task are always executed using RFC interface. The task ID passed as a task does not need to be unique for each call. However, the unique task IDs can help to identify call within a callback routine. Callback routine is something which collect the result from the RFC function module. Each task ID defines a separate RFC connection with a separate RFC session. This task ID is passed to callback routine to identify the function. In short, task ID is a mandatory field to be passed and it used to identify a particular RFC call and its result. Group name. If you specify default as a group name or if you left it blank or initial, in that case, all currently available application server instances of current ABAP server are used as a group. You can use only one RFC server group within a program. For each asynchronous RFC call, where the group is specified, the most suitable application server instance is determined automatically and the call function is executed on this. You can view and maintain server group with transaction RZ12. Let's go to SAP system and see how we can create our own server group. Use a T code RZ12. As you can see, in my system, so this is nothing but your RFC server group. If I double click on this, you will see the instance name and 
some resource allocations. If you want to create your own server group, you have to click here. You have to specify group name and then instances. In my SAP system, I have only one instance. In your case, it may be multiple instances. And then you have to specify resource allocations and copy. So once you click on copy button, you will see your logon group is created. So I'll not create a new one now. Now let's see what is this callback routine. Callback routine basically is used to collect a result from the execution of RFC function module. If you use keyword calling, then the callback routine is a method. The method must be public and can have only one non-optional input parameters p underscore task of type c like if you use keyword performing then the callback routine is a subroutine the specified subroutine can have exactly one using parameter of type c like in the call the rfc interface fills this parameter with task id of remotely called function specified in the call in the task. In the method or the subroutine, the statement receive must be used to receive the result of remote function. If you have not understood any point, don't worry. Your doubts will get cleared in next few slides. Let's consider a scenario where we want to fetch a material general data based on material number. For this operation, we will use standard BAPI, BAPI underscore material underscore get underscore detail. And the result of these we will display in ALV. Let's consider an example where we want to fetch material general data for hundred material number let's say we want to process it in 10 different tasks 10 different parallel process in that case 100 material numbers we will divide it into 10 different packet each contain 10 material numbers now to each rfc call we are passing 10 material number look at this syntax carefully call function then you have to specify your function module which should be rfc enabled starting new task lv task name this can be character or number destination in group p group is your server group name performing we have used here keyword performing then that means the call underscore back is a subroutine. On end of the task, we are exporting material number. Here we have used gv send jobs. This variable will get incremented by one after each successful RFC call. Here is the function module that we are calling in parallel. So whatever we pass in this exporting parameter will be imported to this function module and we are processing on that input so as you can see here we are giving call to standard bapi material get details in a loop because what we have passed from this function module it contains 10 material number and we want to process, want to fetch the material data for all these 10 material number. So that's why this loop is there. In each iteration, we are giving call to BAPI material get details. Input to this function module is material number and the output is material general data. And we are collecting the all the material general data into one internal table 
वॉट एवर इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन कलेक्टेड ऑन दिस इंटरनेट टेबल विल गेट एक्सपोर्टेड थ्रू दिस फंक्शन मॉड्यूल वॉट एवर इज द आउटपुट दैट बीन एक्सपोर्टेड दिस रिजल्ट विल बी कलेक्टेड बाय कॉल बैक सब रूटीन हियर वी हैव यूज की वर्ड रिसीव रिजल्ट फ्रॉम फंक्शन and then your function module name that you you have called in parallel and you can see here the material general data that has been exported by this function module has been imported in callback routine and collected into this internal table on successful reception of result we are incrementing the variable gv receive jobs by 1 then at last you have to wait for all the parallel process to get completed you for that you can use keyword wait until here we will wait until the receive jobs are greater than or equals to send job now let's go to sap system and check out the return abap code for this parallel processing